Hey guys, welcome to RV Recordings. Today I'm going to be replacing my side view mirror lights on my 07 Jetta. Now this, this is not a video I wanted to make, but what happened was one of the neighbor kids rode his bike to my side view mirror. And there's a few scratches over here, like over here. And what happened was this side piece right here actually fell off. And this is like where the turning signal is and all that. So I'm going to be replacing that today on both sides. There's also Plasti Dip these covers black to match the wheels. I Plasti Dip the wheels as well about maybe a month ago. So I'm going to Plasti Dip the uh, side view mirrors. I'm going to show you how to do that as well and replace the mirrors or the, uh, the turning signal lights. I'm going to show you on this one because this one is brand new. That one, it's there's clips inside here and it's like broken off because of how it came off. Alright, so here we got the new smoke lights. Got them from ECS Tuning. As you can see, they're uh, a lot darker. I think it's going to look pretty cool with the, uh, with the black mirror. Put these to the side for now. It's pretty windy out here. Hopefully, you can you're gonna be able to hear me. And you know, they're gonna be throwing a party next door, so it won't be too loud. Because it is Labor Day weekend, so happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. Alright, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, guys. The first thing you want to do is there's just two clips right here. There's one over here and one over here. You're just gonna want to get a uh, flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry it out. Whoo! All right, there we go. So it just kind of pops open. It just comes up. There's also this little little tab right here not a tab but it kind of like hooks up under here this bottom piece so you got to kind of like lift it up as well all right all right now that we got this cap off go ahead and put it in the garage so i can paint it with the plastic dip it's really windy outside so it's hard to paint out there here we go let's move this the thing about plastic dip is you want to make sure you put the coats on pretty heavy. So that way when we do take it off, it'll come off like a sheet. It'll come off pretty easy. The first coat, you don't want to put it on too thick. Because you don't want to put it on too thick because it's plastic dip. You're not going to, it's not like real paint so it's not gonna you, you have to have something for it to stick on you know it's not like when you're painting you sand it down and then you do all these degrees thing and all that plastic dip's a little bit different uh, that'll be good for now all right guys it's extremely windy out here a lot windier than I thought it was gonna be but it's the only time I have to do this, so just bear, me, bear with me with the wind. Um, the next thing I want to do is take these um, these two things off right here. This, what this does is it controls the. Um, you can have a heated mirror, uh, heated mirror, sorry. So if it's like snow or if it's like like, like ice build up on it, you just turn a button on inside and it will heat it up and then melt the, the snow or ice off. You don't really have to take it off. They make it look so easy, you just pull it off, but I really don't want to break it. So you don't. You can skip that process. There's these little tabs on this mirror. This mirror uh, is gonna come off. There's tabs right here. One tab right here, one tab right here. You just pull it up and slide it back on both sides. After 
sure you get this mirror off. So I guess just let it hang for now unless you can figure out how to take those those clips off. Uh, this is my first time doing this by the way. So uh, excuse me if I make mistakes or whatever. Because I'm not really sure how to do this either. But these two screws right here. Um, let me see if you can see that. See it. So there's two screws over here. There's one right there, and there's another screw right here. You're gonna want to take those two screws out. Now, in order to get these screws out, unless you can reach it, which I can't. So to make it easier, if you take this piece off right here, it'll make it a lot easier. There's three screws. There's one in here, one over here, and one in the bottom over here, right in there. So if you get these three screws out, it'll make it a lot easier on you. After the screw, take it off over here. You don't have to take it all the way off. If you get to a certain point, this will pop out and the screws will come out with it. Here's a second screw right here on the side. All right, get those two screws out. And the third, third one is here at the bottom. After you get the three screws out, this will pop out. take it off from the back here but you can always put it to the side we're almost done with the uh, with the installation anyway now with, with that out of the way it's gonna be easier to reach these two screws right here so just take these two screws out and this part will come off that's off this will slide out now if you look in here uh, it's a little too far to see I'll get the phone a little closer view there's two more screws in here one over here and another one on this side right there just get these two out and it will release this mirror bracket right here now after you move these two screws there's a clip right here All right over here you just pop that back and this piece will slide off alright so now just slide this piece out right here just like that now you can get your new one and replace it alright so after you snap this piece back in before you reinstall I want to make sure it works it should work but let's just make sure Looks good, looks good to me. Alright. Alright, now you want to snap back into this bottom piece right here. Just snaps right back in there just like that all right now you're going to want to put the screws back in here all right after you get the two screws back in there just going to put this piece back on Gotta put it back on from the bottom. I left the screws in the holes, so I gotta take the screws out. So 
Alright, right, after you mount the bottom piece back on, you're going to want to put this piece back on. So, this slides over these. Right, just like that. And then put the three screws back on. Alright, after you get this back on with these three screws, you don't want to pop the mirror back on. After you snap this in, you're done. All you gotta do is put the top back on, which we are painting right now. Add another coat.